Oh, g'day scrappers. Free copper. It's a question I get asked about a lot is uh, where do I get copper from to make myself some bars or for my own copper metal projects. Um, so I've done a video on getting free copper from televisions. Well, and some people are saying, oh, well, televisions are running out. You can't get the old style TV much anymore. Um, although I've, I see quite a lot of them still, but your second alternative to get free copper is from microwave ovens. Now, microwave ovens are just about in every house, so uh, there's no shortage of scrap microwaves. And so today, I'm going to scrap out a make microwave and see how much copper we can get out of it, and then I'll turn it into a copper bar. So I'll just start scrapping this out, and we'll get the transformer and any other copper pieces out of it, and we'll see how we go. Okay, so we've got a little bit of wire here, um, obviously we'll take that, but I'm not going to include the wire in the copper melt, so this we just sell as insulated copper wire, don't generally strip it, but if you were just after pure copper and you didn't want to sell your copper wire, you could strip this and add to your copper stack. So here we've got the transformer and that's pretty much basically the main, main thing we want. We also want this little fan motor up, up here and obviously we'll take the transformer and stuff. There's a little relay box that we can get a little bit of copper. So there's yeah really three main parts. You've got your transformer, the fan motor and a little relay inside with copper. So that's, that's all we're we're looking for today just to get the copper so we'll just I'll take out this stuff and so let's have a look Just disconnect a few of the wires out of the uh, you've got the magnetron here which has also got a little bit of copper inside but I don't recommend scrapping out the magnetrons just leave them as they are they can have residual power in there they can have um, you know possibly one in a, a thousand might have beryllium inside it and it might be cracked and powderized so as soon as you open that up you might get bits of um, dust coming up and that might contain beryllium so I don't open these up for the little bit of copper you get in, in them it's not worth it so just leave them don't worry about the magnets if you want magnets get them out of hard drives okay so oh that's one nice big heavy copper uh, transformer now there are three types of transformers in microwaves you'll see the two pieces of copper here now most cases this one uh, sorry this one up the top the thin wire is always copper but sometimes it can be aluminium this one it can be both aluminium or copper so what you need to do here if this one's copper this one's always copper so if we scratch with a screwdriver, okay, so underneath I can see it's still yellow, copper colour, so that's copper. If it was white and bright and shiny, it would be just aluminium. And if it was aluminium, 
it almost wouldn't be worth scrapping it out you're better off just selling it as a transformer and in, in other cases it's um, so the three styles you got in this case this is the good one copper copper other times it's copper aluminium and then sometimes it's aluminium aluminium that's really bad so then you just want to sell it as a transformer and you get much better value out of it but in this case we've got copper copper so it's a good one that we can um, scrap out and we can get that copper out all right so I've got some wires I want this uh, fan motor okay. Okay, so there we go. That's all we want. And we just want this uh, piece of copper here, which we'll take out. I'll show you how I do that, nice and easy. And then we just throw the rest. We can take a little bit of copper here if you want to pick at it. I might try, but I don't work on that much. This is basically it. All right, and... Now we just want this little relay down there because also for those that like to keep a little bit of silver stuff uh, the relays also have a little bit of silver so just in here this little black box okay so that's the copper spool it's only very small but there's you know quite a bit of copper wrapped around that we'll get that here we've got this is just brass and then under here you see these little contact points there will be a little bit of silver on these contact points so some people like to keep these break these off and keep them as silver contact points it's up to you it all adds up okay so we've got three pieces now we're ready to go the small spool, the fan motor, uh, and the big copper copper transformer. So let's take it into the workshop and see what, what copper we can get out of it. So as I said, there's uh, still a circuit board here. We've got an IC chip and a, uh, a transformer still. We can take the whole board. Uh, still have to clean up this uh, wire I leave the capacitor inside I don't touch the capacitors and then we should have underneath we should have a a motor for the turntable and that's it so that's just over and like I said if you uh, wanted to strip this wire you're not going to get a lot of copper out of it but if you wanted to add to your if you're just into uh, looking for copper there's copper in this wire as well all right let's get to the workshop okay so we'll start off we've got that little uh little copper spool that's already kind of fell apart so that's our first bit of copper nice and easy that one okay this is really nice it's actually milberry copper so if you it's bright and shiny there's no very little lacquer on it so that's the first piece <laughs> second one is the fan motor so i'll just knock this out in the vise just pop it in there nice and tight and I just want to knock off this copper and that's it we have removed the spool and so this part here because it's uh, thick steel this can actually go as high grade steel um, otherwise just throw it in scrap steel but like I said there's a little bit of copper here sometimes we can pick it off Sometimes it's just too tight, can't do it. Try. I 
I mean, if you're trying to get as much copper as you can from what you're getting, then yeah, you would spend a little bit of time and try and get as much as you can out of here. I'll just put it back in a vise, get some leverage, leverage, however you want to say it. Okay. Uh, so I've just cut off a bit. Ah, uh, there we go. A little bit more. Sometimes you can pull the whole, whole lot through. Okay. So we've just got a few pieces, not much there. The other side, we've also got uh, some in there too. So if you wanted to spend time, you can get that little bit of copper, but I'm happy with that. Now we just want to get the copper from this. And uh, again, this piece of steel inside, it's uh, a whole series of plates stuck together, but as a whole, complete it's thick so it goes as heavy grade steel if you like if you got that it does split up into pieces though all right so we got our little uh duvalaki all we want to do is just break off the edge of the plastic nice even cut and then we just pull this all out So yeah, there's uh, a lot of microwaves out there. There's a lot of free copper if you're looking for copper. I get so many people asking me where I can get it. And uh, so, you know, everyone's got a microwave oven and everyone, you know, eventually replaces that oven. So uh, just ask, even if you uh, don't see many on the street, ask your friends if they ever throw out microwaves, you want the microwave for the copper you know but uh, you know everyone you know everyone throws out if you go to apartment blocks and places where there's a very dense population there's always someone throwing out a microwave all right so that's a really good weld of copper here from just that fan motor really nice we'll melt that too all right, so finally we've got the transformer. And well, there's really only one way you can, I'll just get this rubber bit off. There's only one way you can really get the copper out of these, this transformer. And uh, if you can see down the bottom, you can see this seam and it goes, runs all the way through. It's like a weld seam going along here. And so we want to remove this block from the rest of the transformer in order to slide out the, the copper. So it's all going to come from this direction where the seam is. So we want to cut down this seam. As I said, two ways. You can use a, an electric saw of some kind or just a hammer. And I just use a uh, chisel like this. You can use any kind of chisel. This one's probably not the best. It's not very deep, it's very shallow. But uh, that's all I use. And all I want is just to cut along there and I'll get a bit closer. Okay, so we just wanna get, break that seam or the, the weld, that's all. So we'll try and line it up. This is gonna take a few beltings, so I just want to get it lined up because if you don't get it lined, you know, otherwise I'll be b bashing it for nothing. Okay, just make a start. Okay, that should get us started. Now, leave it with me and uh, see how I can see if I can get into it.
Okay, yep, looks like we're online. Let's keep going. If I had a better chisel, probably get through quicker. And that was it. Just enough to crack the seam. Oop. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so there we go. Might just go up a bit. So we've got our main plate. Uh, a nice clean removal so this again high grade steel very thick almost an inch thick right even though it's just plates because it's all together you get better money for it okay so now we just got the copper if we can get around here okay so that's the copper piece there we want to get that out of the block and then start knocking out the second piece. Okay. Well, this transformer is operating a little bit easier than most transformers. So here's our first piece. Just remove that cardboard. And there we go. Some nice copper. Uh, so all I want to do is just remove the terminals, put that into brass, most likely, could be aluminium. Okay. Move this sticky tape. I mean the sticky tape will burn off in the, the melt, but you know, just to give it a clean, we've got a little bit of glue. That'll all burn off. All right, so that's our first piece. And we did it before, but I'll do it again. Just scratch it. And that's just bright copper underneath. It would be really shiny if it was not copper. It would be aluminium. But even just holding it, I can feel that it's copper. All right, so that's one more. Last one. Now, before we take this one out, we're going to turn around this way and you see the two steel plates here got to remove the plates before we can take out this last bit of copper and there's also a bit of wire so all I do here is I just put a screwdriver against the, the edge and just bash it out there we go we've gotten rid of one There we go. It's just a bit of steel that's on top of the wire. Now we just get rid of this insulated wire that's in the layer in between the two pieces of copper. Again, if we don't take it out, it's going to be very hard to get that copper out. It's just going to be wedged in. So we get rid of this. Okay, so we've got more. Uh, this just goes straight into insulated copper wire bit more there now we're ready to go let's get that second one turn it back around we can actually go like this if we like it's a little bit awkward all right Okay, so we just get the second piece out, and that's just a matter of getting it out of the wedging. That's it. Again, cardboard.
Now with a bit of glue, you can clean this off as much as you like, but a lot of it will burn off. But you're best off to try and clean as much as you can. I'll just remove these terminals. So it's a really easy job and it's and it's fun. So even uh, getting your free copper, the process of getting it is fun too. It's not hard work and, you know, if copper is something that you want, well, why go out and buy it when you can just go and pick up a, an old microwave off the street? Okay, that will just about do us. There we go, another beautiful piece of copper. As I said, if the if the uh, if the first one is copper, second one usually always copper. Yep, it's only when the first one is uh, aluminium then sometimes the second one can be aluminium this is the fine one very fine wire a lot of copper here but definitely copper just get rid of this and look at that really nice chunk of steel here high grade steel really heavy beautiful you might even want to use this for other things okay so here's our little tally. The main transformer, two really nice pieces of copper. Now what I'm gonna to have to do to put this in the crucible, obviously it's not gonna fit in my crucible because mine are very, very narrow. So I'm going to have to cut these in half in order to melt them, but that's no problem. The piece from the uh, fan motor, little bits from the pan motor and that little copper spool from the relay so there you go I'll weigh her up and see what we got there okay wow so quite a bit more than from that uh, really nice television that I did last time so here we've got 1.34 kilos um so it's it's almost uh yeah almost i think it's uh almost three yeah it's three pounds 1.345 kilos so about three pounds um of copper it's beautiful let's melt the rest so it's a good value from one microwave three pounds of copper um, again, you know, you're gonna, some people are going to say, oh, but how much is that worth? What's it worth? Uh, um, Ten bucks? You know, it's, it's not the point. The point is that um, people want free copper. People want copper to melt into bars, to do whatever they want, regardless what they want it for. Um, and so this is a way to get it for free. That's as simple as it is. I'm not saying that, oh, you're going to make a million dollars out of uh, scrapping out microwaves. But if you just want copper... That's how, this is how you get it. Just find a microwave or an old TV and bang, you've got copper. What you do with it after that is up to you. So right now at 3.45, um, uh, 13.45, this copper, we'll call it burnt copper. So it's about, here in Australia, it's about $5.50 a kilo. Okay, so $5.50 a kilo, $7.40 worth of copper, okay? So that's it. Now, if you want to sell this copper, you just want the money, you don't want the actual copper, then you can just take it in just like that. You don't have to do anything else and you'll get your $7.40. That's it. So, you know, again, for those people saying, oh, what's the point of melting it and turning it into a bar and, um, you know, like that and, and going through all that and wasting energy? Well, that that's not the, the idea. This is just what I like to do with my copper is turn it in, into copper bars. But you don't have to do that, you know, I do it as a hobby, not, not as a, to try and value add, because 
this copper bar is worth the same as this copper in scrap there's no difference so there's no point in um, you know turning this into anything else but just leave it like it is if you're just taking it to the scrapyard to sell because that's what they buy they buy scrap copper it doesn't matter how it is so like I said if you want just the money seven dollars forty I want a bar so I'm gonna do that right now okay I've got uh, one crucible filled up let all this melt down and then I'll just keep adding more more copper as we go we'll let that get up to temperature melt that down we'll keep adding more okay well just about to pour all the copper is inside and it's uh, red hot and looking good don't want to burn the camera that's it beautiful molten copper so let's uh, let's get pouring I'll just zoom in a little bit That little bit is the just uh, carbon and dirt and all that and there's still a lot more in there it's sort of stuck down the bottom it's going to be a whole lot of um, impurities and stuff um, I didn't use virtually no um, borax I don't like to use too much borax in with copper uh, when I'm melting copper wire it's different when you're melting uh, solid pieces then there's not much impurities but yeah uh, with um, copper wire there's a lot of impurities still left in that but it looks like I've got all the copper out of it anyway and it, it turned out to be a really nice pour actually it's quite beautiful better turn off the crucible so yeah that looks um looks fantastic I'll let that sit for a couple of minutes before I t tip it out um, it's still a little bit volatile when it's at this stage I reckon uh, it looks to be cool enough how am I going to do this Wow, it's got to clean it up, but geez, it's heavy. <laughs> well, it should be 1.3 kilos at least. Here we go.
Okay, there we go. So I'll just clean it up a little bit. Remove some of the, the borax that's on top and um, just polish it up. A few little craters there. That was probably where I was pouring and oxygen was getting in. Um, but, wow, really nice bar. So I'll clean it up and we'll see what it weighs. Okay. I'll just put it in the vise, polish it up. Okay, now that's that's a bar. Wow, look at that. That's absolutely beautiful. It's got a really nice textured top. Not too bad. Really good uh, sides. No, uh, you know, pronounced layering. Not much anyway. A uh, little bit of a crater here, but overall, really nice. Very nice. Let's weigh her up. 1.32 kilos <coughs> so we're we didn't really lose much I think it was 1.345 so we might have lost 30 grams which is you know there still be a little bit in there but uh, it would have been just the impurities from the wire like uh, say wire like that you know see that's brown um, it should be like almost like goldy color so that's all lacquer and, and shellacking and and a coating so once you remove all that and you bring it down to pure copper you're gonna lose obviously a little bit so there we go and now we've got a uh, pure copper bar ready to put on to our stack okay well that was it guys microwave oven free copper you can pick them up off of the streets there's billions of them in the world so there are billions and billions of pounds of copper waiting for you to go and pick it up obviously the cheap microwaves are mostly going to be aluminium transformers ones but you know most good microwaves will give you free copper and then you can as i said you can sell it as wire if that's if you're looking at um just making money or if you're looking at making bars microwave simple as that 1.3 kilograms of copper pure copper all right guys well have fun hope that was a little bit of um, interest for you and um, keep scrapping and I'll catch you next time